Nature is full of surprises, and life abounds. For me, part of the beauty of nature is the presence of cooperative behavior in a competitive environment. What does this mean? In situations when two beings are pitted against one another, we'd expect them to battle it out. Yet fairly often, we see them working together. My name is Ben Mylan, and I would like to share some science. The study of cooperation has taken an interesting path through history, captivating the minds of theoretical biologists, political scientists, mathematicians, and many more. The question they are all trying to answer is this. Why, if the environment is competitive and selfish behavior should be beneficial, do we see such an abundance of cooperation in the world? Five answers to the question of cooperation are that we cooperate with people we are related to, we cooperate with people who have cooperated with us in the past, we cooperate with people who we know have cooperated with others in the past, we cooperate because it provides a benefit to our group, and lastly, we cooperate because of the network that we are a part of. Mine was an investigation to this last theory of cooperation. You are driving along the road when you notice there is a blockage up ahead. The snow has covered the road and you cannot continue. You notice there is another motorist on the same road with you. They too wish to continue on their way. The two options available to both you and the other motorist are to shovel the snow or to remain seated in your car. Should both motorists decide to shovel snow, they each pay half of the cost C, shoveling the snow, and get reward B, going on their way home. Should only one shovel the snow, they pay the entire cost C, yet still gain reward B and get to go home, while the other motorist gets the full reward B without paying any cost. Lastly, both motorists could decide to stay in their car, each getting a reward of zero, not going home and not shoveling any snow. A black pawn denotes a cooperator, while a white pawn denotes a defector. Positioning the players in a circle, in each game round, each player plays the snowdrift game with the person on their left and the person on their right. Subsequently, each player updates their strategy, copying the best player that they have faced. It is found that clusters of cooperation can do well, while defectors are better off flying solo. Using this construct of game theory, the game was investigated analytically. We found the requirements for and the probability of the situations in which cooperation can continue indefinitely. Furthermore, using tools from enumerative combinatorics, we found that cooperative behavior is indeed favored in this context.